Hello there, everybody. This is Krista, and welcome back to Crochet Witch Tarot, and another installment of Deck Speed Dating, this time the Tarot Edition. <laughs> so, I have some tarot decks, not necessarily all, like, super new, but ones that I are, are new newer to me, we'll say the past, like, mm, couple months, that just feel like the, the oracle pairing is, it's not coming naturally. <laughs> it's not coming naturally to me. Usually when I get a new deck in, I've got like so many ideas right off the bat. And these three I have just, they're, they're posing a challenge, but that makes it exciting, doesn't it? Anyway, I think we should just get right into it. So I have done this as usual, but if you haven't seen one of these videos yet, I usually choose three decks that we're trying to find pairings for, and for each of those decks I have chosen, this one since we are focusing on tarot, I've chosen three oracle decks to try out with each, and so I haven't tried these beforehand, I haven't looked at them together, it just was like a gut reaction grab of, I think this will work, let's see what happens. So, Without further ado, we're going to start with the Brady Tarot, which this is actually a, what do we want to say, re-acquisition for me? I had this deck a while ago, and it just, I don't know, didn't click with me then, and then I think I, I, think I gave it to a friend, not really certain on that, um, but it came up used, and I just, I don't know, I just felt like now was the time, so here it is again. Um, but it's very different from any other deck I have that I just, oh my god, I just spit on it. Sorry. Um, it's very different artwork wise from any other deck I have. I don't typically have many decks that it's like, I feel like at the same time it's leans dark but colorful. <laughs> so it's this interesting mashup that. I don't know. I just, I don't really know what to do with it. And yes, I feel like I've got some animal oracles that could go well with it, but I feel like as I've mentioned before, I feel like I've said this out loud. <laughs> I don't know if it was on camera or just to myself. I don't know. Um, but I don't really like pairing animal deck with animal deck. Same thing with like really anything else. Like if I'm using a fairy tarot, I'm probably not gonna use a fairy oracle. I just, it's like too much of one thing in a reading, so I don't really like to do that. So we have to go a little off script. Anyway, let's get into it. The first pairing I have here is Raven Falon's Messenger Oracle. This is both of them. I need to really make a bag <laughs> for these. So it's the Messenger, what's the other one called? Uh, the Seeker, but I've got them both in one box. <laughs> but I thought the colors in this could kind of go. Um, let's take some off so we don't get a weird shadow. I don't know. How do we feel about this? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Do I like that? Mother of Feathers, Joy with Focus and Then Act. I mean, that's actually kind of a cool message there. Let's see, we've got Growth. I would love the keywords on this deck. Growth, Departure, and Time to Ground. Oh, that's, okay, I feel like it's reading really well together. The Tower Union with observe in silence. Ooh, and look at the oranges in that actually. That, that's super cool. I think what's throwing me off visually is this, um, the gold label at the bottom. Like, I feel like if it, if the whole card was the artwork, it'd be like, no question, cool pairing. The Hierophant loss, calm in the storm. Oh, that's really neat but it's reading super well. And I feel like with how I usually pull them, let's say like with one card and one card, that, that could be cool. All right, I'm not, 
I think visually I'm not super sold on it, but reading wise, High Priestess, Wealth and Follow the Moon. Oh, that is so cool. I love this Oracle deck so much. Let's do one more. Daughter of Horns, which is eek. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. The rename, I wanna say it's eh, wands. That would kind of make some sense. Optimism and your path alone. Ooh. Okay, I feel like this, it, it's a cool, it reads really well together. Visually, I don't know if that's the best. But do I like it? Yes, I do. So let's see. I feel like I want to leave these out together because that was, that was a good reading pairing. But let's see visually some others. The next one I've got is the Garden Dragons. Ooh, I'm so excited that it's pretty much getting to Garden Dragon season. Oh, see, I feel like this is going to have the same thing with that label. Although, no. I think that might be a little bit better. All right, let's see. Celebration, happiness with squash dragon and opinions. Still though, visually, does that work? I don't know, I don't really think I'm loving it. Burden, fulfillment, and boundaries. Oh, but again, isn't that reading so well? Ah. And I do really like the idea of working with this very down-to-earth, like, real-life animal energy and dragon energy together. And I like that we get the, um plant in there as well so it's kind of bringing together all these worlds I really like to work within hmm <laughs> father of feathers the sun and consistent but I don't think rivalry truth and relax that's interesting huh but still visually I don't think this is I think I like actually the messenger oracle a little bit better visually. The fool victory with observe. But this is really pairing super well. And again, like say I did just like single card draws, that could work. I don't, I by no means hate it. Preservation breach with versatile. It's cool, isn't it? Hmm, I feel like I'm actually finding a couple, like, interesting pairings, but I don't know. Ugh, I don't know. Such a tricky deck. If you have the Brady Tarot and have something that you really love to pair it with, definitely let me know. And that goes for any of the decks I'm showing. Last but not least, we've got the Invoking the Goddess Oracle um, by Lisa de St. Croix. This one, I just really thought the colors would go so well. Let's scoot you just a little. Ooh, that is cool, isn't it? I really love this oracle. I should say the messages and like who the goddess is is on the back there. Let's see a message. So we've also got a keyword, which is really cool. So we have oppression, wheel of fortune, and paradox with Baba Yaga there. And visually, that's super cool, isn't it? These are all turned around though. Eek, I'm pretty sure that's Bridget. With the emperor, mother of arrows. Inspiration. Wait, so the horns definitely, I feel like wasn't. <sighs> Wasn't wands, right? Ugh, I don't know. Okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter right now. See, but then like these three cards together, I don't love how that looks. Oh, I tell ya. Mystery with uh, I, Newt. I'm definitely not saying that right. Newt 
with Vantage and Work. Interesting. I feel like it's like when we get those, the reds and oranges, it's pretty, pretty cool. Judgment, accomplishment with Courage and Durga. I think I'm liking how the colors are really working together though, for the most part. We've got Defeat, The Hanged One, and Radiate with M Amaterasu. Hmm. This is a tricky one. Which one do I like the best? Oh my gosh, which one do I like the best? So we've got Kali and Destruction with The Chariot and Father of Roots. That's really cool. But do I like this one the best? I don't know. I think I do. I think visually, I really enjoy this one, but I don't know, there was something about that messenger oracle with it, wasn't there? Gosh, this is a tricky one, but I think, I think. Hmm. Because I do also, though, love the idea of working with this goddess energy alongside the animal energy. That is really cool to me as well. So, I do think for me this is visually working out the best. Right? I think so. So I think the winner for the Brady Tarot right now is this Invoking the Goddess Oracle. I think I just like that the best, but honestly, I think I'm gonna try out all three with this deck, because I, I did really like how the other two read, even if like visually it wasn't my favorite. I don't know, this is a tricky one. Again, if you have, if you have this tarot, let me know what you like to pair with it because this one's been really stumping me. So that is the Brady Tarot and it's winning date, invoking the goddess, oracle, and action. All right, let's move on to our next tarot, which I'm very, I mean, I'm excited about all these, but like, ooh, I'm really excited about this one. This is the Gardens and Goblins Tarot. And you can tell how much I love this one already because it's already got a special bag. This is one of the Moonlit Fae bags, which are so gorgeous. I really get these every once in a while because they're, I mean, I don't want to call them pricey because like they're such good quality. Like that is for sure accounted for in that price, you know? So I don't want to, that's not the right word, but they're a special treat for me, I guess I should say. So this is one I got recently, and it just went so perfectly with this deck. And so usually, well, what I was trying to say is usually when I get a Moonlit Fae bag, it's like for a deck that is kind of really special, and that I've really like already, like I've had for a while, and I've gotten to know, and it's like it gets us this special bag, you know? I've not had this deck long, but it already feels special in that way. I just, I just love it. And it was too good of a pairing. So, Gardens and Goblins. Now, I don't really have many collage style decks. And I think again, the thing with this one is like the bit of darker tones mixed with the really bright colors going on. And I think it's also because there's so much going on in each tarot card that, I don't know, the oracle pairing hasn't really come super, super naturally to me. But the first one I'd like to try is the Animal Allies Oracle. Now I've got one and two mixed together. This is not all the cards because I'm currently, actually no, let's use this one because there's more cards here. I'm currently mid, um, mod on this one. I'm writing two of the keywords from the pamphlets on the cards just in some just in some sharpie just to make it a little bit more usable for me as an oracle. So let's look at these together. The 
five of coins. The chariot with fun and eccentricity in the lemur. I love how this orange background is working with the colors in this deck. And I feel like this is like just, just simple enough that it's not overwhelming. Love and presence with Luna Moth with the six of wands and five of wands. But again, look how those colors are pairing together. I really love the um, little, it's just like a little white book that comes with the Gardens and Goblins, but it is so good. This is a, I think I like this. This is pretty exciting. And I haven't really been using this as an oracle too much. Um, I've kind of been using the cards for when I'm doing work with a specific animal because there's so many cards when you combine the first and second. Um, I usually use it as like an altar card since most of my other animal decks, maybe bar one other one, I pretty much use on the regular. But I'm really liking how this mod is making it uh, a little bit more usable for me in that way. The moon, page of wands with solitude and question. <gasps> Ooh, that's neat. I really like how even like pulling two on each side, I feel like this card is really kind of breaking up what's going on with the, again, pretty like busy scenes in each of these cards. All right, we've got Trickster and Laughter with Coyote with the Empress and Ten of Cups. Oh, how neat. That is so cool. Ooh, I'm really liking this. Let's look at a few more just because, I don't know, because. Embrace Unknown with and Shadow with Black Panther with Two of Swords and the Sun. <gasps> Ooh, I love the idea of working with this shadow energy with the sun card, kind of in a way of like how sunshine is always going to cast some kind of shadow. Like you can't really have one without the other. Independence, persistence with goat, with the devil and the star. Ooh, I love this devil card. Okay, one more, one more. Just to see visually. Yeah, that's good, right? Okay, cool. So that's the Animal Allies Oracle. I am, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that. All right, next we've got the Mushroom Spirit Oracle, which is a newer one to me that I've been absolutely loving. No surprise, it's the same creator as the Celtic Spirit Oracle, which is one of my absolute favorites, so. Let's see. Ooh. This one I picked because um, her decks have this kind of simple background to them, so they tend to pair well with a lot of different, a lot of different decks. So we've got Temperance, Three of Wands, and Fertility. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, visually, this is so good, isn't it? Page of Cups, Three of Coins, and Reveal. Neat. I like how with some of the mushrooms too, there's that little pop of color to kind of tie in what's going on here. Seven of coins, the magician, and defense slash balance. Interesting. Ooh, I feel like there's so much to think about there. The fool, three of cups, and stagnation. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I feel like this one, it's sort of like, I don't know, it leaves you thinking, doesn't it? Ace of Swords, Strength, and Isolation. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Wait, okay. I think, I think I'm liking this one a little bit better because like visually it just is working. Two of Wands, Death, and Capture. <gasps> okay, okay, I can't help. We gotta, we gotta keep going. Ten of Coins, The Hanged Man, and Healing. Ooh, I love this idea. It's feeling almost like it's like this end of a cycle and like reflecting back on maybe some things that have happened and gaining this new perspective almost is what that's feeling like. But I love how that red ties in. 
Let's do one more. Knight of Wands, Four of Cups, and Purpose slash Judgment. Wow. It's giving kind of an energy of like rushing into things and repeatedly maybe having things end up not going the way you expected or like kind of rushing through, trying to ignore the feelings of the Four of Cups maybe um, because of maybe some like feeling unclear on a personal purpose. I don't know. I love that though. Okay, this is a really good pairing. I, th I think I might like that a bit better, but we've got one more to look at here. And that is the Prairie Majesty Oracle. Okay. Mm. How do we feel about this? Two of coins, five of cups, with a dabble. What would help me feel safe in opening up? I mean, that's kind of a cool message together, isn't it? Ooh, eight of cups, eight of swords, with how can I know myself as bigger than any fear? Wow, with that eight energy? and shed as the keyword. I mean, that's super cool. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Okay, queen of cups, queen of coins with clear. What kind of release would protect clarity in my space? With queen energy, that is so interesting. Okay, at first I thought this might be like too busy for what's going on, but... Oh, this is gonna be a tough choice because I'm loving this one too. Okay, we're having the opposite problem as the last one. Queen of Wands, Two of Cups, with what is ready for action. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay. Take over with the Tower and Judgment. Is it time to reclaim and reinvent the structures in my life? I mean, oh my gosh, come on. That's so cool. What reminds me I'm free with the Hermit and Six of Coins? Oh my gosh. All right, one more, one more. What can I learn from observation with the King of Swords and Eight of Wands? Oh, wow. I love the conflicting energy there with that King of Swords being like very, obviously the King of Air very clear-minded and just, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm, decisive almost. And this eight of wands of being this like kind of rushing energy with that card in the middle notice. Oh my gosh, wait, I, ooh, I'm having feelings about this one. Okay, but I do like them all. So we've got the mushroom spirit and we had the Animal Allies and then Prairie Majesty. Eek, I think again, they all work. I kind of want to play with them all, but I think the winner, the second date, <laughs> the second date deck for um, 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 the Gardens and Goblins, Tarot, I think has to be the Prairie Majesty Oracle, because that was just, that was really exciting, a really exciting pairing. Very cool. Oh, and kind of fitting because both of these actually have Moonlit Fae bags. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Okay, cool. Last but not least is a tarot I've really had for quite a bit now and just have not, really have not touched. It's the, uh, oh my gosh, Greek goddess? What are you called? Yeah, Greek Goddess Tarot from um, Ellen Lorenzi Prince. And I just love everything she does. So that was a bit of a motivation behind getting this one. Um, plus, I've really been enjoying the Hellenic Oracle from Thea Garden Goddess Tarot. Whoa. Garden Goddess Tarot 
Um, so this just topic in general has been really interesting to me, but the artwork from Ella Lorenzi Prince has proven a little bit hard to pair. So first up, we've got the Woodland Warden's Oracle. Oh, no, right away, right away. Eek, no. I don't think I like it. I get a real thing about like white borders with an off-white border going on. E I don't like that. Oh no. I forgot it had this off-white. This is my trimmed version. Okay. Um, you know what? And because I'm just a little cuckoo bananas, I do have an untrimmed version. <laughs> Because I use this deck so much for altar cards, I did get um, another copy of it and just decided to leave it untrimmed so I could riffle shuffle it. So let's try that because it does also have a white border. So maybe that will help its case a little bit here. Is that? No, it's not perfectly white. I thought it was, but when you hold them up next to each other, it's not. Ooh, funny that bear came up twice. So, ooh, we're getting like the same cards. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, abort, abort mission. <laughs> Woodland Wardens, that's just gonna, it's gonna have to be a new. Anyway, <laughs> next we've got the Blooming Lovelies Oracle. And I think the colors in this are gonna go so well. But let's see here. The messages in this are just really funny too. I really like this oracle. All right. So your tale deserves to be told with queen of arrows and champion of arrows. Interesting when you think of that air as sort of communication. How do we feel about that visually though? I don't know, I feel like we definitely gotta see some different cards. Sad songs must be sung with companion of swords and eight. Oh, uh, this isn't shuffled. <laughs> That's clear. All right, let's do that super quick, just so we get some different things to look at here. Or I think it was shuffled, but just not well. Okay. Wax on, wax off with nine of cups. And I'm not gonna be able to say that name, but it's the Hierophant. That's kind of cool. Asteria and N and key with, oh, you did not know that you were beautiful. <laughs> I love this deck, it's so cute. Um, visually, I think, I mean, it's okay. It's okay, right? I don't really know if the vibe is pairing here, honestly. No, it's not, is it? No, okay. That is the Blooming Lovelies Oracle, and I don't think I'm impressed with that either. Oh my gosh, what if we don't end up with a pairing? Eek, because that's two down that are no goes. All right, the last one I brought out to try is the Faceted Garden Oracle. I think this could be a winner. I don't know though. I don't know, this is a tricky one, I think because of that like pure white border. Mm -hmm. We're just kind of looking at it visually, I think here, because it's more of like a key, it's not really a key word per se, it's like a title for the faceted garden, but actually, do you think I like this? Celestial realm. Queen, yeah. What do we think? I think this, I mean, it's better than the other two. You know what? I do think there's another deck I wanna try. We're gonna have a little bit of a cheat and do four decks, but the other two were total just absolute knots. So, I think that's okay. 
But this one, I actually, I enjoy this. I do think I actually want to try these together. Okay. That's the faceted garden oracle, but I'm curious to see because it just is such a good go-to for me when it comes to pairing the coastal curiosities. Let's see that. Cause I think actually this could be kind of cool. All right, we've got the child of swords six of arrows with observe oh that's okay look at how cool is that too with the animal matchup gaia three of cups and ordinary Ooh, that's interesting isn't it and i think i really like this visually right and you know actually since i really don't know this deck well and clearly there's like name changes because the majors are all goddesses um and even name changes just for the minors it could be good to use an oracle i'm super familiar with to get to know it but i do think visually that's so good seven of green ace of arrows and change cool all right what do you all think what would you pair with this deck neat i do think this works okay so the winner, the second date companion <laughs> for the Greek goddess tarot, I think is going to be Coastal Curiosities. Wow, we had a, we had a surprise date sneak in there. <laughs> Nyx, Ten of Arrows, and Rooted. Ooh, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Okay, that is the winner, Coastal Curiosities. And that is all I have for you all today, I think. Um, but I hope you've all had a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you again very soon.